Howdy folks, how are you? Today, we're taking a look at this guy right here. It's a salted ham that's been hanging in my basement since November. Let's open her up and take a look. That part doesn't look so bad. We've got a little bit of mold right here. But then we have this face right there. Uh, looks kind of funky. I know what you're thinking. I wouldn't eat that. I'm kind of thinking it too. But from what I understand, this is normal. So we're gonna wash it off and continue the process. I've got some vinegar and water right here. It's a 50-50 mixture. And a stiff brush. And here we go. I'm gonna go inside, rinse it off with water. I'll be right back. This is what it's looking like. I only made a little guy. I actually made two of them. I did them small because I've never cured ham like this before and I did not want to ruin a lot of meat in the event that that's what happened. So far, this is looking pretty good. It looks a lot better with all that mold washed off. I've got some charcoal going on the grill. We're going to cook this thing up, have at it, see how it tastes. Here's a nice piece of apple from my apple stash that I got from my grandmother. Thanks, Grandma. We'll have to make some more of these later. Low and slow.
so what I did was really, really simple. And I hope it works. But I'm by no means an expert. <laughs> but after I slaughtered the pig, I let it hang for a week. And then I butchered it, took the pork leg, covered it in my salt mixture. And then I took that and I wrapped it in newspaper, just black and white newspaper, no colored ink. It will run and you don't want that. So I wrapped it in newspaper, put it in an onion sack and hung it in my basement. Five days later, I took it down, rinsed it off with some vinegar and reapplied the salt mixture, wrapped it back in the newspaper, put that back in the onion sack and hung it back up in my basement. Five days later, I did the same thing. And then from there, I just let it sit until today. And today is the 27th of March. So that's it. That's all I did. I hope it turns out pretty good. I'm very curious, very curious. It smells good. That's for sure. So not much longer. We'll find out. Fingers are crossed. <laughs>
That's really good. <laughs> wow. Mmm. All right. Well, so far, I would say that that's a success. Hopefully, I don't get sick tonight. We'll see if I make it. That's really good. This is by far the best ham that I've ever made. I've been making my own ham for, excuse me. I've been making my own ham for four years now. This is by far the best one, hands down. That is good. Mm. Finger licking good. Mm. Mm. Oh man, I'm over the moon right now. We're just not getting sick. That is absolutely fantastic. Mm. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> mm. It worked. Definitely has way less moisture in it than a typical ham that you would buy at a store. This guy right here, the little guy, champagne catcher. Her, not so much. Mm hmm. Wow. Good dogs. Yeah. This was fun and this turned out really good. Look at it. Looks just like ham. Imagine that. I'm happy about that. This glaze is pretty good too. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's good in the woods. Mm. Howdy, folks. Well, it's the next day, and I'm not sick or dead. So, yay. One for me. I made it. All right. And I wanted to show you guys something. These books right here are what I've been using as a reference. And so far, I've been pretty pleased. There's a lot of good information inside these books. Check it out. All right, now that that's out of the way, who's hungry?
This is so good. Mm. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. Have a good day.